All right, we got a fifth generation Accord here. It's got a problem with the door. Let's see what we got going on. All right, the problem with this Accord is the vehicle door is not opening from the inside. So when you pull the handle, it's not doing anything. And so you got to lower the window or have somebody come around and uh, and open up the door from the outside. Now I already verified it, so I'm not going to show you that. But um, a lot of times the plastic pieces break inside here, or there can be a problem with the rod that goes across. So. In this case, um, I can hear some movement of that rod, so I suspect the problem's not right here. But in, in either event, whether it's broken here or over there, we've got to get this off first. So let's start there. All right, what's nice on these older Accords, is, uh, or, and most of these older Hondas, is we can take this door handle off without taking the whole panel out. So you just need to go in there and pop that screw out. Um, there's usually a cover over it, and it's gone. It's probably been gone for years. But we'll take that screw out and then we can get this out. And we just push it forward towards the front of the car. And then we can usually pop it out. And you can see there's a clip right there. Let me get a close-up. All right, and looking right here, you can see that plastic clip. A lot of times this plastic clip will break, and then the rod will just pop out. And so when you move the handle, it won't do anything. Or this plastic piece right here breaks off, or the handle itself breaks. It could break right in here. The pins break. Um, all these things break. There is one connector right back there. We'll have to disconnect if we're going to pull this out, though. Alright, so you just gotta pop that piece out, you just squeeze it, and then usually I'll just take a screwdriver and just press right there, and usually I can pop it up and over that rod, and then you can just lift the rod out. And you can see we don't have any room with this connector, and this plastic is pretty stout, so you gotta be careful pulling it out. Sometimes they can be tricky to get off. And there's our rod, oh, and you can see something's definitely going wrong in there. We shouldn't be able to do that. It should just um, move just a tiny bit like that with some spring pressure. So obviously our problem is over here. So we're going to have to get this door panel out. And we got one cap and one screw down here we got to get out. Actually the cap just pops up. So don't try to rip it all the way out. Come on, and then it wants to drop back down in your way. And you can see, that's what it looks like. So yeah, this cap likes to pop right back over the screw head. And we'll take this piece off without breaking it. Just clips right there and then this piece just kind of hooks right there. Now we should better get this off. So once it's free like that, then we can just lift it up. And we'll just unplug our light. Now it's free. All right, now we'll just pull this plastic back so we can get a look over here. In this case, I'm going to cut it because this stuff is beyond pulling off once it gets to this age out here where I live. You can see I've already been here before doing something because this is my work. This is my tape. All right, we got to get this uh, piece off right here so that we can peek in there. 
So we'll just pop this out. This is a number three screw. That's all it is. It just hooks in there right here and then a screw. And you can see our Yeah, you can see it's completely disconnected. That's how it should be in there right there. So we need to see why it's uh, or where it's disconnected over here. All right, I can't get in there. I can't get the camera in there, but we'll use the old bore scope. See if we can see something. Oh, well, that's easy right there. It is right there. That's the piece. Can you guys see that? Yeah, let me get you guys. All right, now that I got the camera stable, hopefully I can get you a better shot of it. You can see that white clip right there, that's what's broken. That's what's uh, normally holding the rod in. And you can see by the jagged pieces right there that it broke off. And you can't quite see it, but the rod would go in like this. But with the angle, can't quite get, see it. But here's the end of the rod. And so normally it would just go in like that. And then the uh, this plastic piece would be up a little bit and it would just snap over the top of the rod so when it breaks off the rod just pops out yeah so when it's sitting in here like this without that piece in the way or the plastic piece to hold it it just pops out like that and then the rod just moves back and forth not doing anything so we need to get uh, a new plastic piece and get this thing fixed now the problem is going to be trying to get that new piece in because you can see it's buried way back in here so we may have to take some stuff apart to get to it. All right, as you can see, I got the new part. There's the uh, part number right there, if you can read it. And you can just uh, you can see the clip inside there, right there. Let's take it out. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you can see that's what it looks like. Just like that. So this piece right here, we have to snap in. And then this little U right there, that's going to snap over our rod. And of course, that's the piece that's missing. So the way we're looking at it in the vehicle, we're looking at it like that with this piece where my thumb is cut off. So we need to try to get um, squeeze these tabs and get the old one out and see if we can snap this one in. But it's not going to be easy. All right, as you can see, I got my scope out again. And I tried to film it, but I missed it. But uh, there, as you can see, the plastic piece is missing. So it's hard to see. But right there at the tip of my finger, that's where the opening is. That's where the hole where the plastic piece used to be. And there it is right there. You can see. And then the other little tang broke off when I stuck my screwdriver in there. So what I did is I just went in with my screwdriver like this. And you can see on the camera, I just went right over. And then I just punched it out right with the screwdriver. That's all I had to do is press on a little bit and popped it out. So now we'll see if we can get a new one in. All right, what I did is I took that piece, put it on the end. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to snap in with the rod in place. It may not, we may have to go to plan B, but that's definitely better than the alternative of taking everything apart, which that's a lot of labor. We don't wanna do all that. So I'm just gonna watch it on my camera, see if I can fish it in. All right, as you can see, I have the rod clipped in. It's just barely hanging on there. It's not popped in yet. I'm not sure if I can pop it in like this with the rod being in place, but we'll try. Um, I did roll down the window so I can get a better angle right through here. See if we can't pop it back in. zip tied my camera so it won't fall but I just have it barely on the edge I'm gonna to try to fish it in see if I can't uh, get it to press in there
plan B. We're going to see if we can't pop it in that way. There we go. I just had to go inside, just pop it on. And there's a shot on the camera you can see the new clips in place. Alright, so now I just need to get the rod in there and put it in. And then we'll just take that uh, plastic top and just snap it over. So as you can see there, the rod's in place now. Now I just got to snap it over the top without breaking it. And now with the rod in place, if I pull it over a little bit, I can get a better angle with my screwdriver. And pop it right down. And as you can see, let me just pull the rod on. You can see it's good to go. And there you can see the rod inside there. Not going anywhere now. And of course, it should be spring loaded. It should bounce back like this one is. Let's make sure that's what it's doing. All right, now we can just. Take our bore scope out. Get this thing buttoned back up. And we'll get this thing back in place. We gotta put the window back up. We won't go in with the window up or window down. Now with it up out of the way, now we should be able to fish it back in like this remember when we're screwing in the plastic as soon as it snugs up, that's it. Alright, now we got to seal this all up with uh, all weather tape. Alright, I'm going to seal it up with some all weather tape. You can see this is what I'm going to use. It's what I always use on these. That's what it looks like. And that's all I'm going to do, and I'll uh, show you when it's done. And I know these dust and moisture shields are a pain, but they're there for a reason. I always recommend putting them back on. Now what we'll do, before we put the door panel back on, we'll unlock it. We'll make sure that works. fish our uh, door lock back up through and hang this door panel.
snap our cover in place. We'll take our lock or our handle, plug it back in. And then we're just going to take our rod and do the same thing we did with the other side. We got to drop it in. Where's my little screwdriver? When I like using the little screwdriver for this. Let's see if I can get you a shot. So can you see the lock rod right there? Just going to drop it in place. And pull the snap over. And there you go. That's what this side looks like. And we don't want to break those. These are very easy to break. Alright, and now, now that we got that back on, you see those three little hooks right here? We need to put them in the three little holes. And then we'll slide it forward. So we need to bring it back this way in order to press it in. Come on. Alright, now it's in. Then we can bring it over that way and then that locks it in place. Now we can put our screw in. Same thing, we're just going into plastic. As soon as it bottoms out, snug, that's it. Now we can hear the mechanism working on this side. There we go. All right, even the big dog makes mistakes sometimes. And I forgot to plug this in. I'm sure as you saw in the video, it was hanging down, I shut the door, boom, broke the connector. Now luckily I have more of these connectors, so I was able to splice it in and fix it, but still that's a rookie mistake and I know better. So now we're good to go. Now we can put it back together correctly. There. Now it looks like it's supposed to. Alright, now that we're all done, let's make sure this thing works. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video on how I go about fixing these older Honda door handle issues. And, you know, we all make mistakes, like this light here. When you do make a mistake, go back and fix it. No big deal. And as always, hey, if you enjoyed the video or helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.